Hello, today's training video is on Gmail. I'm going to share some additional tips and features that will make using Gmail easier for you and your students. If you are not already in your Gmail, open it please. You can do so by typing mail.google.com in the address bar or you can click on the shaded icon box in the upper right hand corner if you are in any of the other Google apps and that will give you the option of opening up your Gmail. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to create a task list. The task list you create in Gmail is tied in with your calendar so you can access the task list from either place. To create a task list go to the right I'm sorry to the left side of your screen click the drop down arrow and you will see that you have three options your mail contacts or your task so when you click on task your task list box will pop up in the lower right hand side of your screen now that your task list box is open you can see that you have some options down here in your box down in the lower corner of your box, if you click on the arrow beside Actions, it will give you the option of indenting, unindenting, you can edit the details, you can get help, there are lots of things that you can do. You can even email your task list to other people and you can print your list. So there are some options that you have. If you have lists that you would like to keep for instance maybe your classes or if you would like to have a list for things that you do at home you can have multiple lists so if you just move over to the right side of your task list you can click that arrow and this will give you the option of creating a new list so if you want to have a list for things at home you can have a list there if you need to delete your list you can do that as well so that gives you some options about creating your task list something to note what you put in your task list can show up on your Google Calendar and it is the same list so if you create an event in your task list and you want it to show up on your calendar if you simply put a date there then it will show up on your calendar as something that needs to be done for that day let's say for instance if you get an email message from somebody and you would like that email message to be added to something for your task list you can do that as well. So what I will do is I will open up an email message and this is something that I'd like to add to remind myself that it's something that I need to take care of. So my message is opened. Let me go up here to the top of my screen and click more and I add this to my task list and now you will see that it is an event on my task list. That's something handy to keep in mind for the future. The next feature that I'd like to share with you is how to turn on the keyboard shortcuts in your Gmail box. If you will go over here to the gear icon on the right side of your screen and go down to where it says settings and click, you'll notice across the top you have several tabs. So what we want to do is stay on the general tab and scroll down to where it says keyboard shortcuts. Mine are currently off, but if I want to turn them on, I just click the on little icon and now they are on but I do have to click save changes to make sure that that change takes place so now I can use the shortcuts in my Gmail account thanks for watching and I hope that today's training video has been helpful